So in a world of legacy lenses, you have so many options. Continually trying to figure out what to buy and what to choose. But there are a few that stand out. Oh wait, like that one. That one stands out. This is one of my favorites right here. This is a Nikon 55mm f1.2. Uh, one of the fastest lenses you could possibly buy. And absolutely a gorgeous lens. Uh, very shallow depth of field. I use that one on the a7R quite a bit. And then right here, my second favorite. The Nikon 20mm f2.8. Actually just a phenomenal lens. There we go. And this thing is absolutely amazing. Uh, excellent landscape lens, especially for the size. And what else? Oh, right there, right next to it. This is the Zenitar Fisheye. One of the best fisheyes that you could possibly get. A very clean, uh, sharp, uh, works well with a focal reducer. Um, outstanding fisheye. But the main thing is, is to get you guys to be able to use these lenses. Now here's one here that's a very rare lens. A Vivitar 55mm macro. Although realistically, I prefer... Yeah, let's go all the way to the other end here. Ah, this beat up little piece of shit right here. This is a phenomenal lens. The Nikon Micro 55mm. This one is the f3.5. In the back, there's an f2.8. These are some of the best lenses that you can buy for shooting anything. Portrait lenses, uh, they work for portraits. They work well for macro. Completely flat field. Absolutely phenomenal. And then, uh, my favorite. Actually, they're all my favorite. But this one I have a lot of fun with. My Lens Baby Composer. Absolutely just a stunning little lens. Can't go wrong with this. Alright, so let's show you guys how to use these lenses. So we're going to be doing this fully manual. So obviously, you know, it's auto f-stop. So what we'll do is we'll put our adapter on. We'll go ahead and mount it on the camera. Here's our camera. Okay, and let me mount this on here really quick. All right, now there's two ways you can do this. You can be in manual mode right here. And what happens is you have to adjust the f-stop. And then you focus in. And notice we have peak focusing turned on along with zebraing. And that allows me to make sure that I know exactly where I'm focused in at. So in this case, it's the middle of the photo. Okay, so from here, then you would change your f-stop and then adjust your shutter speed appropriately. There's a faster way to do this. So if you really want to do this on the fly, you come up here. You bring this back in here. From manual to aperture priority. This will save you a lot of time. Now, we can go in. Let me focus this back in here. There we go. I'm doing manual focus on everything now. <clears throat> All right, so in aperture priority mode, uh, we can adjust how bright we want it to be. And I like to shoot just a hair brighter than normal. So in this case, I'm going to do um, about two-thirds of a stop over, so 0 0.07 over what it actually meters at. Now, the beauty of this is I can either be completely wide open Sorry, this is wide open. And then I can go in and focus and choose my depth of field. And I can say, okay, I want to be right here. Let's zoom in. Look at what we're doing. I can say, okay, I want that serial number to be in focus right there. So in that case, we just hit the shutter button to tap it out. And then the very front edge is in focus. Now I can take a picture and we can have a very shallow depth of field. Now our other option is now that we're in aperture priority, we can step down and the camera will adjust for us. And we don't have to worry about looking at the back of the screen. And we know where our focus is. Peak focusing tells you what's in focus. 
So here, if we want to double check it, we'll go to the, the inside here. I'll make sure we got the center in. And now, right now, we're at F16, quarter of a second. And there you go. That is how you manual focus manual lenses or legacy lenses on a Sony camera. So I hope you guys like my video. Uh, leave a comment. Otherwise, you guys have a good day, and we'll see you later.